everyone, my name is Captain Jack. Welcome back to Space News. Today we're doing another ship review from the Steam Workshop. With us today we have the Hyperion Systems Wildcat ML R5 Corvettes. Now to me this kind of ran home as a missile frigate in a way, but I'll show you why that is in a second. Anyway, this amazing ship is by Surge and Whiplash141, aka Hyperion Systems. We've seen a lot of their ships before. Now, the reason I like a lot of them is because they're space only, and a lot of people say, well, that's like a damn factor, you can't travel in the planets. But I believe it's nice to have some almost not vanilla ships on the workshop. Because obviously, before planets came along, you only got iron fossils. But when planets came along, everyone thought, well, we'll just use hydrogen, it's ten times better. So it's nice to see some iron only ships for a change. Maybe sound a bit boring to you guys, but it's nice to have a bit of nostalgia for me. Anyway, let's dive straight into this. This is the Wildcat Corvette. It's pretty cool. A very small ship as well. Nice of a small ship for change. I keep reviewing really big ships lately, so it's nice to have a small, little dinky one. But it's not that small, it's heavily armed. Let's take a look around. We've got some interior turrets on the side here. One thing I did want to make note of is not the air vent there, because that was something I was looking at. Over here, the use of the, um, so not half block, the slope block and the camera. A really cool idea with a thrust hidden in there. I love it when people hide thrusters in between blocks, because it doesn't burn the two sides. Super cool. I really found that quite funny when I was looking around. Most of Surge's ships always have these sort of like twin, what would you call them? Twin arms? Teeth? I don't know, you, just these twin bits sticking out here. I really like the design as it curves back into the rest of the ship. And it always curves out towards the engine wings or the missile pods itself. Cameras around here as well so you can monitor your missiles. In here is obviously the missile bay which is uh, not loaded at the minute. Can we reload? I think it's this one. Wait, well, hey, all the lag on that. Anyway, moving on around the ship. Did I forget to do something here? No, it's just this random panel sticking out. What does it hide? Ah, oh, we'll look at that in a minute. Anyway, continuing around the side here, we've got two giant iron thrusters, obviously our side thrust. Cool to have them. Curving around the back, we have our main thrust for the ship. Loads of iron thrusters, we've got mostly giant iron thrusters, a few small ones dipped in there as well. Some slated plates here to add a bit of design feature in the engine pod. There's all these nice curves and stuff around the engines. Also a rear camera as well, so we can see where we're going. Around here we have some slopes or size there, just to provide a bit of design detail. I love it when people do this. Got an upwards engine here to provide downwards for us. No, I call it an upwards engine. <laughs> this engine here provides down for us. Got the same on the other side as well. More slope detail in here as well. You can see the jump drive poking out. Now, personally, I think it's a bit of a tactical weakness, but you know, it does look cool having it stick out like that. But who knows? This I get the impression this ship it sits on the edge of systems, fires its missiles, and then goes in and cleans up the mess with what little weaponry it has. And when I say little weaponry, it kind of has got a, not a big arm in it, but it's got a decent one. We've got two Gatlin guns, a missile turret, not bad. I've got another camera over here for looking up. In here is obviously the access to the hydrogen, not hydrogen, I'm so used to saying hydrogen. Access to the iron thrust as I showed you a moment ago. Let's go down below, we've got two interior turrets on each side here, and there's another missile turret back there, so it's got a decent armament to be honest. Not the me most mega armament, but it's still, it, it's one. I was just looking at that grate, I wonder why it was there. Why put a grate there instead of the normal block? Adding a bit of extra design detail. Sloping in here, now this is me, I wouldn't like think to do most of these design things, but Surge has done it perfectly in Whiplash. Just having these things in here, amazing idea. Connector on the bottom here, so you can connect up maybe like a mothership, refuel your ammo and stuff like that. The access into the ship there, a door, we'll go in there in a second. Another thrust, so this is our stopping thrust, it's kind of ideal to have one of them to be honest, so she'd go on through space forever. We've got some more iron thrust down here to push us up, always a good plan. Notice how this mostly uses um, catwalks in here to hide things away, pretty cool idea. Bit of design detail as well. I love it when creators use designs. Design detail makes it so cool. Missile turret on the back here, pretty simple. Guidance lights again, and yeah, that's kind of it for the outside of the ship. The Wildcat is certainly an awesome Corvette. We're gonna dive straight in now and see where we go. But I think I'm already inside, aren't I? I am. I'm in a bridge. So we're gonna do this back to front. I'll show you where the door is in a minute. So this is a bridge here, kind of a very small minimalistic um, bridge. We've got the main controls and stuff over here. Pretty cool. Another cockpit here, maybe for a co-pilot to fire the auto turrets and stuff like that. Bit of a stat screen up there, no damage blocks. I don't know actually what's in there, that's hidden from me. Don't know what that is. Anyway. All the stats blocks there. We've got two cryo tubes, I think the crew's only two. No, the crew's three. Oh, there's another cryo pod over there, we go. My stats bit on the side of my screen say three crew, so that's cool. A bit more slated blocks around here to add some more designs, I love that. Some grates at the top here, conveyors running over, air vents. Oh, what's down here? Is this like, what's this? I don't actually know what this is. Is this like a guidance thing or something? It's like another control thing. So these are the three seats. Ah, oh, there we go. So seats for the three players. Or crew. That makes sense. I think there's an engine room back here, isn't there? Yes, it is. Reactors. There's an oxygen bay. Oh, and access to the jump drive. So you can always repair it as well. 
and cargo use. Oh, these are all our cargo space as well. Hey, I pretty like these. I love these little nifty cargo space areas on ships, especially on small ships where people just find reasons to put them. So cool. Look at that. Love it. Amazing. Right, let's walk back out of here. Close the door behind us. Car tube up here as well as program block. as most likely controlling all our stats and stuff. Always could have one of them. Walking around the front here, we're kind of at the end of our ship now. I mean, it's a very small interior, but we come out here, close the door behind us. Goes light. There we go. We're free to exit. And well, hey, we're outside the ship. Very simple. But anyway, we're going to test those weapon systems in it, so I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we're now back with a missile test. I'm sat in that cockpit here. We're going to fire them. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Nope. I pressed the wrong button again. Whoops. Well, hey. Wait, let's try again. Two. Okay, some are away. There we go, the first batch are away. We're chasing them. Let's see him hit our poor old crew convert over here. Hey, that is some critical damage, and the rest flew through. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Oh no, they hit, they hit. A few of them went in. <laughs> I find it so funny. I literally just, oh, it reminds me of sort of Gmod missiles. If anyone's ever played Gmod, it's so cool how you attach thrusters to things, and they just go spinning off like that. Anyway, I say we give it a round. People love it when I crash ships, so... Let's see what we can do. I mean, this thing surprise apparently survives ramming pretty well. So, there we go. That has been the Wildcat class Corvette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, the ship certainly does well. Most of that is still intact. Wow. What's the interior like? Oh, so the bridge has been breached. Well, half to be expected. But hey, it's mostly intact. Not bad. Well done Hyperion Systems and basically Surge and Whiplash for building another amazing creation on the Steam Workshop. Make sure to check this one out in the description of the video below and let me know what you think of it as well. It's a pretty cool Corvette, especially with missiles as well. I love how they work, it's really cool. It reminds me of Gmod Thrusters, like I said. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a like rating on it just to let me know how I'm doing. Comment any suggestions you have down below and how are you all and all the usual stuff we do on my channel. And I've basically, just an update for you, I've moved into my new house now, so I should be getting things back on track with videos and that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.